Number eight, total disrespect of my Oklahoma Sooners. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get this one started with what I think is a positive. Because it goes into my second bold prediction of the night. Oklahoma is going to end this regular season, this postseason in the Big 12 championship game, undefeated for the first time since 2004. Lincoln Riley legitimately made a quarterback change in a game that absolutely positively matters to everybody in Oklahoma. Going from a starter who's 15 and 2 and won you a sugar, or excuse me, won you a cotton bowl, to a true freshman who had proved zero, nothing, nada, and then went and got a W with that dude, clawed out from a 10 0 halftime deficit against Kansas and got a W with that dude. This team is 9 and 0 for the first time since I was in high school. I was 17 years old. The last time Oklahoma was 9 and 0. I'm a homeowner now. I got advanced degrees. I went to grad school for a PhD. This is how long it's been. And the best that the playoff committee can do is rank this team Number eight. I'm emotional about this stuff, man, because I it, it 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 matters to me. It probably matters a little too much to me if I'm being quite honest about it. Because I don't look at winning a national championship as, oh, well, it's nice if you do. I didn't grow up in an era where making the Rose Bowl or making the Cotton Bowl was considered a really great thing. I grew up in an era... When I watched Florida State win national championships, I watched Oklahoma compete and win for a national championship. I watched USC run roughshod over people for it felt like ever, but it was really like four years. I watched Vince Young do the doggone thing in the Rose Bowl against what I thought was the best college football team I'd ever seen. I've seen 2018 Clemson. I've seen 2019 LSU. And you're going to tell me, hey, RJ, they ain't beat nobody. They beat everybody that they played. If I'm a kid at Oklahoma, if I'm a kid at Cincinnati, and I see these rankings, I have to go and ask the suits, what is it that I personally have to do to it to get your respect? Because I am doing every single thing in my power to meet the criteria to play for a national championship. And the only thing in their power is winning. And that team has done just that. And yet you put a Michigan team who lost last week and ain't beat nobody worth a doggone, who happens to have the good grace and privilege to play in the deepest division in football today, ahead of the six-time defending Big 12 champion and four-time college football playoff participant. Now, I'm telling you, Lincoln. Link, 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 Lincoln. Lincoln, Me to you, right here. Like everybody else up. Leave no doubt, okay? I need you to be on your Dexter right now. You know I'm talking about? Stun on these these fools? Like, that's what I need you to do, right? This is disrespect. This is, this is the most blatant disrespect that I've ever seen of Oklahoma. The team that won 47 straight. The team that's got as many Heisman Trophy winners as national championships. Put number one overall picks in the draft the last three out of four years. Like, two out of three years. I'm saying, if I'm Lincoln, I tell my team this is what they think of you. This is what they think of you. And now you know what you must do. You must scorch the earth. Thanks for watching this video. And remember, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos on the number one ranked show YouTube channel.